my loves welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well thank you for clicking on this video today i'm really really excited to bring you along on my day with me we are gonna be having a little day in my life but it's not gonna be any old regular day in my life because today we are gonna be refreshing we're gonna be organizing we're gonna be decluttering we're gonna be getting on our shit but in a life productive way so i always think like there's like rest productive work productive socially productive and then like life productive and i feel like life productive can be like paying your bills or like renewing car insurance or like decluttering your wardrobe that sort of stuff and so today that's what we're going to do so i need to declutter my space i need to go through my wardrobe i need to go through my drawers i need to go through my cupboards i need to go through everything and when i show you my room you will understand why if you guys are ogs you know for me it really really is so true that a tidy space equals a tidy mind and when i don't have that which has been pretty permanently recently because i'm so lucky and i have so much stuff like so much stuff and not enough room for it i need to go through so much recently we've been clearing out the spare room because we've actually been having it redone which is really cool and exciting but for literally the last two years that we've lived here it has just been an absolute dump full of clothes not too long ago i actually dedicated some time to go through what i'm gonna keep what i'm gonna sell what i'm gonna bin and what i'm gonna give to charity and so that room now is like so refreshed and feels so good that i actually went through that all i feel like now i need to go through it all with like the stuff that i have have in my bedroom and do the same thing what I'm gonna keep what I'm gonna chuck what I'm gonna give to charity and what I'm gonna sell that is gonna be a huge task for today I'm gonna to spend a good few hours of that but I will update you all a little bit later and explain a little bit more into that but yeah other than that we're gonna spend the day together so I hope you enjoy so I'm all ready to go to the gym but we're going to smash off a workout before we get on with organizing and all that jazz I've gotta get that workout ticked off you know so this morning I have read had my breakfast it was really cute Ben's been making my breakfast breakfast the days he's not a uni which is so cute and like the first few times he did it he did it really wrong because you guys know I have my hyper fixation breakfast at the minute which is like my wheat fix with my frozen fruit and my kinder and I do it a certain way anyway I've made a little video on that so I'm going to be posting it on Instagram and TikTok so a lot of you guys have been asking how do you do it how do you do it and it's really simple but I wanted to show you guys so I'm actually making a little video well I've already made the video I need to upload it so yeah if you want to go watch that then you'll know how to make it read eating my breakfast answered emails replied to messages I've kind of been having a a bit more of a morning routine which has actually been really great because if you guys follow me or have followed me for a long time you know that I get really bad anxiety first thing in the morning and I have done for honestly as long as I can remember like the last few years every single morning I wake up with like burning anxiety and that has honestly been eliminated or like my anxiety has been lessened so much in the last few weeks because I've had a little bit more of a routine and it hasn't been anything major like there's nothing that I'm like right this time I do this this time I do this I mean I do structure my day here and there when I feel like I've got a lot to do but just the act of I have like a 10 minute scroll just to catch from my socials and everything and then I'll read and then I'll reply to everybody because I get really overwhelmed throughout the day and it can go like five days and I would have like not responded to a friend or something and then I feel super overwhelmed so just spending the morning like replying to my friends replying to messages whatever and then I'll reply to my emails so then my admin is checked off by that time I've checked for my socials replied to all messages done my admin read a book and then I will eat my breakfast to get me all fueled for the day and I will brush my teeth and do my skincare and like make my bed and by that point then then I can go and do my workout or I can go and carry on with work or I can go and meet up for lunch or whatever I'm doing for the day and then like okay I've read my book and I don't need to then worry that I need to do that before I go to bed and I'm really tired and I can't bother to do it I've tidied my space I sorted myself out I'm fueled I've replied to everybody now I can just focus on what I need to achieve for the day and don't get me wrong sometimes it can literally take me up to like midday if I have that many messages or admin or things like that to go through and that's okay but it's just like you know what even if I don't get anything else in the day at least I can be like okay I'm on top of what's going on around me but yeah I just wanted to show you this really cute set I know I literally don't stop talking about gym clothes at the minute but I am just loving it so hopefully I'll shut up a bit soon this able set is to die for let me push you over I am in the itty booty committee I just put a little twist on that. I have a pancake booty and I'm not ashamed to admit it. And I'm not one of them girlies that say they have a pancake booty when they actually don't. Like I actually do and I'm fine with it. But these shorts have made me rethink that. They make me feel like I, I'm not part of the pancake booty committee. Honestly, this bum scrunch, bum scrunches never do anything for me. But the bum scrunch on the Empower range of Able, 
chef's kiss. Like I rock up into that gym and I feel like that girl. I rock up in my matching set and I feel so freaking good. Not because my booty scrunch, like don't get me wrong, but that does make me feel good. But just the fit, the, the matching set, like the material. I just, I just feel good, you know? I'm, I'm so here for that. If you want to buy anything off Able, you can use code Brooke and that will save you 10% off. So it's a bit of a slate to be honest. We're all winning. Um, and then we can be twinning. I also have one in a really gorgeous, like bright blue color, which is such a slate. Not gonna lie. I had my Weetabix not that long ago and I need to go to the toilet. It's so funny because since eating this breakfast every morning, I literally need the toilet immediately after. Like immediately. I am one of them people that would literally poo, sorry, TMI, once every one and a half to two days. Like I haven't really keep track of it, but now it's like clockwork. Just saying, I never believed in it. I never believed, oh, these types of food will make you poo, like whatever. It's true, it's true. Okay, I am all done in the gym. That was a really good session. I actually got quite sweaty. Yeah, I'm really enjoying doing like 40 minute gym sessions. Like I feel like that just works really well for me. Any longer, I just get bored. And like then I just wouldn't look forward to going to the gym. And that's really important to me that I enjoy moving my body and it doesn't feel like something that's literally gonna drag forever. But yeah, I'm still so not used to videoing myself in the gym. It's the tripod. I mean, standing up your phone against your water bottle is still like, so scary but having a freaking tripod and a camera is so awkward and like most people don't even look like most people just ignore you're doing it but the thing is when you're using a camera you have to like put it really far away to get you all in pure gym is really like tight and close together like things are really close together and i felt really bad because i was literally right by this woman's head when she was sat on the leg press and it was like right by her head i was thinking it's not getting her in it so i don't want to be like sorry but then i don't know i just i don't like addressing it it makes me really nervous like i do my best not to get people in it but i just hate when it's like in their business not that it was meaning she couldn't do what she wanted to do but just the idea of her thinking what is she doing but then i'm just like if she wants to ask me to move she can like and i'll be like oh yeah of course no worries so i just thought like i'm not actually getting in her way it's just me overthinking it anyway no one asked <laughs> I am gonna go and get a Subway. I just want a nice, quick, easy lunch. I actually had Subway yesterday as well. I haven't had Subway in such a long time and now all of a sudden I'm having it two days in a row. Just as I really wanna get back and get going, I just wanna have a really nice, quick lunch. So I'm gonna go and get myself a Subway. I'm all home, I've got my Subway. I actually went for a wrap today, very exciting. Yesterday I had a foot long. I got the exact same ingredients except on a wrap. Although I did add just a touch of barbecue. So I got mayo and then a touch of barbecue. Usually I just get mayo. So I get cheese, chicken, lettuce, cucumber and then mayo and i got it tasted mm. oh my god mm. so good mm -mm -mm. i'm gonna watch a youtube video and enjoy my lunch because i need to chill out mm. What a day. I'm all freshened up. I've had a sweet treat because sweet after savory always. I've had my multivitamin for my protein, code Brooke to save. And now it is time to start decluttering. And I honestly cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm gonna show you a before. As much as I'd love to sort all this out, I actually have already sorted it out. This is organized chaos. I'm actually gonna film a YouTube haul tomorrow for the clothes down there. But just to get them out of my room, I might just put them in the spare room. Although that's not really sorting any issue. As soon as I've done the haul, hopefully my wardrobe will be clear enough to be able to slot them in. So that's what that's looking like. We have this mess over here. Actually, I went through some of my protein stuff last night because I was giving some bits away. So I actually kind of organized that quite nicely yesterday. So that's not too shabby. This, on the other hand, is looking pretty shabby. So yeah, I would prefer for that not to be so cluttered. And then I've got a big mess down here because my laundry basket stood on stairs. This is where the chaos begins. This is my gym section. Now, as you can see, I have been ramming things in i fold it but it gets rammed it is not fitting in and it's driving me insane quite frankly this is my pajamas and oversized t-shirts it's not giving it's not giving i think every month i just need to refold it and reorganize it because even though i fold it it just it doesn't end up looking good this section actually isn't too bad i just have my technology stuff and for some reason tennis rackets because i don't have anywhere else to put them this again actually isn't too bad this is like kind of just like stuff that i get sent i've got a lot of lounge stuff in there i've got random stuff so i need to go 
go through it. I need to go through it. This is Ben's section, so we'll leave that for him. This section is all random stuff, but I went through everything probably about six months ago. And since then, I haven't really touched it. If I need stuff, I'll get it. Like, And I feel like, because I went through it six months ago, I'm not really going to be able to remove anything. But if I can, I'm going to go through that as well. Then we move to my wardrobe. Now you may look at that and think, that isn't that bad, Brooke. That is not that bad, hey? But then you move down here and you see all of these clothes. But now that we have more room in the spare room, I'm going to try and make use of the spare room and be really ruthless with the stuff that I chuck, sell and give to charity because I don't want to live my life like this. And not only that, I have to keep putting more stuff down there because these hangers keep breaking because I'm putting so much stuff on them. So I need to just have a clear out, you know? And also I'm putting like multiple tops on like one hanger and it's not nice. My bags are disorganized. I then again have Ben stuff here because he's got to have his own room and he's got to be able to make um, space for his stuff So he can do whatever he wants with the space that I allocate him essentially <laughs> Because I don't have enough room for my gym stuff I've just started piling up my gym stuff here that I'm wearing on a daily basis This is from a broken hanger that I need to organize through Again we have some more of Ben stuff So all the stuff that Ben's got here I might kind of just like put into one pile And then leave for him to deal with We don't need this here It is driving me insane If we open up these drawers we have so much much shoes so much shoes now it would be great if i had access to them shoes if i could actually open the doors you know we've got my makeup over here absolutely fine not doing anyone any harm got my bits and pieces down here this over here isn't too bad about a week or two ago i actually made a start on the decluttering can you believe it because it was driving me insane i couldn't open any of my drawers or i couldn't shut them without having to like squeeze it or break it or whatever so i just made a start and this is where i got and i'm so proud of myself i emptied out everything everything this was bursting full couldn't shut it and i also did this one and honestly like this is so good i cannot believe i made it this empty this is just so much more organized i also did this drawer because this drawer was also getting crazily out of hand i also did my hair drawer because this i could not shut or open as well and i had a lot of like empty bottles and random stuff in there and finally i did this drawer now this one is incredible because this one it was splurging out with the most random stuff i literally got everything out of it and cleared it out and now i just have like my book um, my to-do list my eye mask and then like random little bits but nothing crazy like there was fake nails in there that were like broken and like yeah stuff in there that shouldn't have been in there if you go down on here this is again getting out of hand i must go through all of this i just don't know what i'm gonna do with all the stuff i just need to be ruthless and bin it yeah i just want it to be seamless you know this drawer is not too bad it's just is getting quite full everything's kind of stayed in their little department so it could be worse this drawer on the other hand is an issue i cannot open or close this drawer so this drawer must be dealt with finally this drawer this this is chaos this is very old makeup that needs to be done so that is everything in my room that i must go through there's also the drawer where all that stuff is over there there's that's also a cabinet there's a lot of stuff in there as well i also have this with like loads of old makeup in it and random stuff but today the priority is getting through my gym clothes my pajamas and my wardrobe <sighs> But once you start, it's got to get worse before it gets better. We all know that. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. It'd be good to document it to hopefully give you guys any motivation you might need to start that thing that you've been putting off because it will actually make you feel so much better for just getting it done. My plan of action with my room is little and often. So I'm going to focus on my wardrobe and clothes stuff today. Obviously last week or the week before I did those few drawers, which took me a good few hours. Next week or the week after, I'll hopefully focus on... A a few more of my drawers and just make my way through it until I just feel like a fresh slate and I actually know where everything is and everything is accessible. I'm gonna go and grab a bin bag, I'm gonna take my laundry down, I am going to take my crockery down and then we're basically just gonna be ruthless and grab everything out and refold, decide where it's going and go from there. I'm really, 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 really exhausted. So some days I basically just get really, really low energy. So I used to get this all the time and literally every single day it, I'd be up for like two or three hours and I'd literally feel like I can't concentrate and I can't do anything. And now I get that maybe once every week. 
and today is one of those days and I'm trying to plow through but not gonna lie I keep just lying down on the, on the floor and just like not doing anything I have had a bit of a scroll on my phone I definitely haven't been using the time as efficiently as what I could have we can't get annoyed about it we can't get upset about it because it's how I'm feeling some days I might be really productive some days I might be able to just smash it all out like when I was doing them drawers I just went ham and I was like just go 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 for like two hours didn't stop whatever today I feel like I'm out of it and I'm in the clouds a bit. But we're getting through it. I've done my gym stuff. Thank you. You got it. Thank you. So I'm having a, a, a squares bar. It's needed. I need some sugar fuel. So yeah, I've done my gym stuff. I'm getting through the pajamas, although the pajamas section is gonna look very empty. All of this is pajamas that I'm putting in the wash because although it doesn't need a wash because I haven't worn it in forever, with it all being all like mixed up among each other, it's just kind of got that like musky smell you know like i just want it all fresh and just feel like i can just like refresh you know oh yeah we're getting through it guys this is actually the day before this video is going live for some reason my camera crashed and unless you got rid of all footage of me clearing out my drawers and the finished result i showed you the finished result from that day i don't know what happened and it's also deleted some other clips from other videos and i'm so confused what's going on after the last clips that you guys have seen i continued going through that wardrobe space and then i also went through my drawers not my drawers but my pants socks and bra drawer and honestly i literally filled up a whole bin bag of socks odd socks old socks holy socks random socks socks that i don't wear and pants pants that were ruined from girly stuff <laughs> pants that don't fit me pants that are uncomfy all that stuff old bras bras that don't fit me you know all fun stuff like that i felt really guilty like throwing it all away but you know when there's just pants that you reach for and pants that you just don't like there's just literally no point in me having them and i've had them for so long and like you know like it just feels good to have pants and socks and bras that i know i actually wear on rotation and i actually like to wear and it feels so good to have actually like organized my space a little bit better i wish i had the footage of me doing it sorry i'm literally just making a bit neater because it is a couple weeks later so it's not as pretty as what it looked like when it first happened you know we can't be perfect I me mean, i wish i had the footage of me going through it all but hey what can we do i thought there'd be no point in me just deleting all of the video for the sake of a few time lapses missing and also the result at the end to begin with i did feel a bit like, oh god i wish i got more done like i really haven't got that much done but the matter of the fact is we're one step closer to organizing everything my pants sock and bra drawer is a drawer that i reach for every single day my gym section is a section that i reach for every single day my pajama section is a section that i reach for every day so it's nice to now be one step closer and no matter how long that takes it's just one bit of progress no matter how big or small that is it's just nice to be that one bit of progress closer to feeling like everything is organized and sorted out it definitely was looking all a little bit more organized and a bit more fresh when i first did it but this is the drawer so i have all my bras here and these are ones i actually reach for on the daily instead of it all splurging out everywhere I have my fluffy socks at the back back here because obviously they take up a little bit more room So I don't really need them in my everyday sock drawer And then I've got tights and all of my socks here And then I have my chafing shorts because girlies with thunder thighs in summer No, honestly chafing shorts are girls best friend and then all of my pants here I also organized this section so before I didn't actually have all this stuff So this kind of was literally all clear on the day But since I've really luckily and kindly been sent some amazing products So at the minute i'm just kind of storing it here before I kind of know where i'm gonna put everything but i've got my my protein bits all here as well and everything is just a lot more neater i've also organized all of this so now i am feeling a lot more clearer because i have a lot more space and things just feel a lot more neater i did get rid of that towel but honestly it's just a good place for me to keep it and all my washing is now in a washing basket which is just a godsend rather than just having a big pile of stuff there and finally again you know i don't want to keep repeating myself but it was a lot more organized but as i take things out and put things back in and go through and look for certain things it has got a little bit more messy but again in comparison is looking a lot more better so i have all my sports bras here i have all of my leggings and shorts here and i have all of my tops here these are all my gym section stuff so it feels really nice to now not literally have to be like shoving it in and like breaking the cupboards because there's absolutely no space and also to know that most things here i will reach for rather than just having the stuff i reach for amongst bits that i literally haven't touched in the last like year and then you go down a section and i have all of my tops and 90s and also all my pajama bottoms and pajama shorts so that's nice and organized rather than just a 
a chaotic mess and then we go down one and I made this a little bit more compact which is good and then I've just got a few more products here I might put the rest of my products in here that I get sent just so it's a little bit more tucked away but yeah we have made progress I also changed my bed sheets but again I've actually changed them again since I'm still yet to do any more organizing on any other areas of my bedroom but yeah hopefully this can be a little bit inspiration to you if you needed that little kickstart to get going with organizing or you know start that job that you've been meaning to do that just feels really long and really annoying because honestly like it did take me like three hours to do all that but again definitely worth it and also I think you last saw me having that squares bar and I was feeling so low energy and it was actually bizarre because I've always felt like I don't react to like sugary snacks in like a way that I get more energy like I've never felt like that's actually a thing for me but on that day I had that squares bar and I had such a boost of energy and it felt so great like I honestly then felt like a new woman and it just shows that few food really is fuel so if you are feeling low energy if you are feeling a bit uh feed yourself up girly it's like you need food and that's okay have a snack have a meal have whatever you fancy you can go then smash whatever you're doing because i was thoroughly feeling like i was actually gonna pass out like i literally needed to like go to sleep and cry it was the energy that i needed on that day but yes thank you so much for watching my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit of a different one to usual but if you did enjoy please like comment subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video and go and do that thing that you've been avoiding for too long you have the best day ever